Hi everyone, it's Thursday and peace be with you. I hope you've been enjoying the sunshine this week. So far in our journey through the Lord's Prayer, we prayed that God, who is both intimate and almighty, would work in such a way as to cause his great name to be honoured by establishing his perfect kingdom in part now and in fullness when Jesus comes again. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Today we begin to pray explicitly for some of our personal needs. As we pray, give us today our daily bread. Now, on one level, this is a simple request that God provide each day for our basic material needs. Food, clothing, shelter, everything we need to live and to do his will. And God promises to do that. The Apostle Paul writes in Philippians 4.19 And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. But as is usually the case with Jesus, there are more levels of meaning to unearth here, at least two layers to dig down to. First, note the unusual wording of this petition. Give us today our daily bread. No doubt this refers back to the experience of the Israelites in the wilderness when they were stuck between Egypt and the promised land. When they were hungry and cried out to God and God provided manna, or in English, what is it? It was also called the bread of heaven or the bread of angels. It came down with the dew each morning but melted away in the midday sun. It was white like coriander seed and tasted like wafers made with honey. This was not just God's provision for their hunger, this was a test of their trust. It would appear each morning and so they were told to gather just enough for each person each day and trust that God would provide another supply the following morning. Of course some didn't trust God, they gathered more than they needed and the next morning it was full of maggots. God provided manna for 40 years until the day they entered the promised land and then it stopped because they didn't need it anymore. So when we pray, give us today our daily bread, we're asking God to provide our basic material needs today and we're resting in the promise that he will do the same tomorrow and the next day and the next. Secondly, Jesus wants us to see that material food is a visual aid for the spiritual food that we so desperately need in order to truly live. When Jesus was in the wilderness, fasting and hungry, and the devil tempted him to use his power to turn stones into bread and feed himself, Jesus replied by quoting directly from Deuteronomy chapter 2 and verse 8 from that time that the Israelites were in the wilderness. Moses says, Remember how the Lord your God led you all the way in the desert those forty years to humble you and to test you in order to know what was in your heart, whether or not you would keep his commands. He humbled you, causing you to hunger and then feeding you with manna, which neither you nor your fathers had known, to teach you that man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. God's gracious provision of our basic needs is meant to encourage us to seek in him the satisfaction of our spiritual needs through the words of God, through the Holy Scriptures. So why not join me now in asking our intimate and almighty Father to provide for us today all that we need, both materially and spiritually, both bread and Bible, trusting that he will do the same tomorrow and the next day and the next. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us again. Do join us if you can for worship at 10.30 on Sunday morning.
And until then, God bless you and bye-bye.